530, the results are in. Governor Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke are heading for the general election. And it wasn't all that close either. Both easily won their party's nominations. Republicans sent a message. They want to keep Texas the land of opportunity and prosperity for absolutely everybody. And this group of people, and then some, are going to make me the first Democrat to be governor of the state of Texas since 1994. Good morning to you. Thanks for staying with us here on Texas Today. I'm Chris Rogers and I'm Tahesha Moyes. The race for governor may be all locked up this morning, but there's another high profile state race that's headed for a runoff. That would be the race for attorney general. Incumbent Ken Paxton failed to get 50% of the vote. He'll face off against current Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush. Texas Today's Barry Roy joins us now with a look at how the vote stacked up across the state. Barry. Yeah, Chris at Tehesha, the numbers are continuing to come in, but as you mentioned, with Paxton only getting 43% of the vote statewide the next three months, pretty critical for him if he wants to have a third term as Texas's top attorney. As Paxton fights for his political life, he's also up against an investigation by the FBI after several top deputies resigned and reported Paxton over accusations he used his office to help a wealthy donor. Paxton has strongly denied any wrongdoing, calling the accusations politically motivated, according to the Associated Press. Now, with all of that looming overhead, the mood Tuesday at his watch party was pretty confident. Paxton's supporters showed just what they think of his challenger. George P. Bush. So with about 60% of the vote in, it looks like I am right now double my closest opponent, uh, George Bush, George P. Bush. So I'm a, I'm a, the good news is it is double. I'm at 42. He's around 21. Uh, I think Eva Guzman is, is at two points behind him. And I guess what I'd say is clearly to the establishment, they got what they wanted. They got me in a runoff. Meanwhile, Bush says he is feeling very good about his chances this morning as he's looking forward to the next three months, telling reporters Tuesday night that Republicans have spoken and they want to change. I think the bigger picture here, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, close to 60 percent of Republicans are saying they want to change away from their top cop, uh, a, a top cop that's facing three felony counts in a Houston court for uh, felony counts relating to securities fraud, deceiving investors for his own personal gain, and an FBI investigation looking into allegations of bribery and corruption. Texans have spoken pretty clearly tonight that they're looking for a change. Let's take a look at the map here right over, over my shoulder here, but in Bell County here, as you can see, as the votes come in right now, uh, Paxton, 41% of the uh, vote. Uh, Bush is dealing with 27% of the Bush, uh, or the vote rather. Bush saying that he believes that he can get some other people uh, surrounded around him. If we move over to McLennan County, uh, we can see that Paxton is at 47% to 21% over Bush at this point in time. Uh, so again, uh, Bush believes that he can overcome that by getting some people to uh, rally around him. As for the Democrats, Democratic Attorney General race. Well, it does look like Mercedes Garza will be headed to a runoff as well, but who she will face that is still up in the air right now. Either it's either going to be Joe Jaworski or Lee Merritt for that seat. So we'll find out when that runoff happens. Chris and Tahitia. Yeah, a couple runoff races to keep track of. Thank you, Barry.